Another day, another pack opening here for MLB The Show 22. We have a decent amount of packs today. A lot of headliners is the big thing. Four guaranteed diamonds right here, which we'll save for after the standards. Now, I don't really ask for light goals too often anymore, but on this video, if you guys want to see me open an always intense pack right here with some of these players, now that the cam's turned off, you can see as some of the pulls possible. If you get this video to 500 likes, we'll be opening one of these always intense packs tomorrow. If you somehow get this video to 1,000 likes, which I can't remember the last time we hit, then we will be opening two of these always intense packs as well as some other packs no matter what we're going to be opening other packs with them but the light goals are for one and two of these new always intense packs now before we get into the packs themselves that we actually have to open here today i just am going to say because a lot of people are probably wondering hey Where's the gameplay videos? This is, I think, the fourth day in a row with a pack opening. I haven't had a gameplay video in at least four or five days now. And the shortest answer is health stuff, man. For the past 13 or 14 months, I've just been experiencing health issues. Uh, I got not diagnosed, but they're like pretty certain of what I have. Man, I think back in like March and I got put on some medicine at the end of March. April was really good for me health wise and then May has been really bad for me health wise. In the past, I would say about 14 months, I've lost like between 20 and 30 pounds and uh, I'm trying to gain it back, but it's hard and I'm sure that's part of the reason I'm, I'm feeling bad too is losing all this weight can't be healthy health has been keeping me from playing video games in general but especially recording gameplay videos and editing those gameplay videos and and everything for y'all just i haven't felt up to it i'm hoping i feel up to it soon i'm really trying to get things under control had a doctor's appointment on monday um keeping on the same medicine probably going to try new medicine in a month or two got a book with a certain diet and it's just it's a whole situation but short answer pretty much is health issues man i haven't really felt like playing video games in general but especially not playing games recording them trying to be entertaining and editing for y'all just really haven't been feeling up to it i'm just hoping i can kind of get everything under control that's what i'm trying to do right now i thought i had it under control for the month of april but this month of may has been pretty bad but i'm trying to get everything under control so we can have content video streams everything like that just like normal so i'm gonna start with the standard packs these have actually been treating us okay recently still not amazing overall for the year but i feel like i'm seeing diamonds in these every now and then when earlier in the year i wasn't seeing any it was literally zero diamonds now having only 20 something the odds are one in 50 for a diamond i feel like it's not super likely but what i feel like is likely is the headliners man we got a lot of headliners today and they have not really been giving us diamonds recently so i feel like we're due for some diamonds from headliners i'm gonna go ahead and open these standard packs we're gonna go to the guaranteed diamonds and then we're gonna end on probably i guess everything else that we have the ball ins headliners i don't think i really have anything besides besides those if i'm not mistaken also um regardless of if, if you skipped my explanation or, or, or not you just wanted to see the packs oh yo wait that's sick um i'll just say it now while we're uh, that's awesome I'll, I'll take that 100 percent i'll just say that while we're waiting uh i don't feel good today i i really feel terrible i, I did not get barely any sleep last night i don't have energy i feel bad uh, I'm probably going to record this video, edit it, and get in bed and try to get a better night's sleep tonight because I usually do my videos a day in head. So you guys are probably seeing this in the morning or during the day, but I'm recording it uh, not super late. You know, it's it's around 8 p.m., but I didn't sleep well last night. I'm really tired. I don't have energy. I don't feel good. I haven't felt good all day, but we're, that's, that's not what this video is. This video is about trying to have fun and get diamonds and stuff. I don't want to bring y'all down. I don't want to have bad energy. I'm just... I'm letting y'all know in case the energy is lower, you know, I'm just kind of seeming out of it a little bit. <laughs> um, tired and and don't feel good to sum it up. But yo, we got a chase pack from a pack. I think that's only my second time this year that that's happened. I'm that made me really happy. Uh, now, with that being said, I don't know how y'all feel about this. Maybe if you have any opinions one way or the other, let me know in the comment section. In my opinion, chase packs, at least the way they are right now 
should guarantee a diamond. I'm not saying they should guarantee a high diamond. I just think it's ridiculous. Now, it, it, it's hard to say because sometimes you'll get them from a pack, other times... And this is the, the, the time I'm really talking about is when you buy a 50 bundle, right? It's 75,000 stubs. And that scenario, at least in my opinion, but maybe in chase packs in general now, to be honest. But in that scenario where you're buying the 50 bundle, you're buying the chase pack. I really personally feel like it should guarantee a diamond. Because, yeah, it's a 50-50 chance for a diamond, so you still have a really good chance, way better than most other packs in the game. But with that being said, man, you can spend 75,000 stubs, one, just to get a goal. That sucks. And then number two, uh, a big thing is, and I feel like this really doesn't have to do with them guaranteeing diamonds, but that 90 or higher diamond, that could be a face of the franchise card. That's like 10,000 stubs, maybe even less. So I would really like to see chase packs uh, maybe have like a one in four chance or something uh for like 91 or higher i don't know man i feel like something's got it I, I just feel like chase packs are not even close to as exciting as they were earlier in the year but uh i spent too much time talking about that already man i just i want to get to the packs uh i have none of these guys so i'm gonna grab a prospect and maybe put him towards that adley rushman card i'm not really sure what i'll do uh the event rewind i have most of these but not all of them I'm probably just going to grab the guy that I don't have that's worth the most. So right now, that's about 12000 for Wade Boggs. And so far, it's looking like it's going to be, ooh, maybe one of the tops now, guys. Right now, it's Trevor Story. Okay. Hey, man, I don't mind Trevor Story. I'll take that. Yeah, man, we'll get tops now, Trevor Story. I'm going to probably get all these guys at some point. So there's Trevor Story for me now. We got a big dog pack, the rare round. We'll see Kluber. Hey, we got the rare round. I'll take it, even though it's not much more expensive than the non-rare round, but I didn't have any of these guys. And uh, I wish I knew, man, if I had more all-stars or more breakouts or more whatever, but I guess I'm going to go Corey Kluber, grab him here, but I'll probably try to get both those other guys at some point too. And then we got the BR pack right here. I have Hershizer. I don't have... G Ooh, wait. Oh, wait, these are the two new ones. I'm dumb, man. For some reason, I thought these two were new, but nah, Giambi's not new. Um, do I, Yo, let me know in the comment section. Who would you choose? Would you choose Joe Morgan or J.R. Richard? I feel like for me, I'm going to choose Joe Morgan and, and see how he does, man. J.R. Richard looks like he could be a decent pitcher, but I kind of want to try Joe Morgan. Let me see, man. 101 hits per nine, 99 below, 99 breaks, 78 control. The control's really bad on everything besides the fastball. Man, if I want JR Richard, I could buy him. If I really want that card, I could buy him. There's our four guaranteed diamonds. We have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 headliners. Those are one in 10 chance for a diamond. We got two ball ins, one in 15, and then we got a chase pack that we're going to be ending it on. So let's start with the ball ins guaranteed gold or better that's always right here so we're hoping to see some blue in this spot on the second ball in that we have nah man it's gonna be a gold for us but ty france really is not a bad gold now we got headliners one in ten chance for a diamond the headliner from this one was billy wagner this is guaranteed silver or better these don't guarantee a gold we're getting three silvers from this one we got a nice little universal banner now for these if you're gonna get a diamond it's most of the time in this same spot man it feels like most of the time when diamonds are pulled in general no matter what pack it is it's always on that final slot and headliners seem to be no different now if we go to the pack shop real quick headliners are 7500 stubs normally if you want to just buy them so Say I bought all these headliners and saved them for a pack opening. The packs you just saw with only silvers would have been 7,500 stubs apiece. This would have cost me 7,500 stubs. 50, let's just say 200 plus 500, 700. We didn't even get 10% of the value from that pack right there. That's kind of crazy to me. And yo, it's it's pretty much the same thing right there, man. That's That's wild. Uh, that these don't contain a gold or better. But, hey, man, it is what it is. 
I didn't buy these. They're all free by playing. Oh, wait. A diamond in the second spot. Okay, I'll take that for sure. Before we look at who it is, I just want to say I got all these packs, by the way. Every pack opening you've been seeing and are seeing today in the last few days. Tomorrow may be different if you guys hit the like goal because then I would have to buy the, the packs and everything. But uh, the packs have been earned through conquest maps, rank season program, BR program, events, featured program, stuff like that. Just playing the game. I still have not pulled a 90 or higher diamond, by the way, that's that's worth more than about 12,000 stubs. So, face of the franchise, headliners worth no stubs, right? I still have not pulled a 90 or higher diamond worth a ton of stubs. We're waiting for that, but we did get a diamond. I'm happy to get a diamond. You're Don. Shout out to you. There's uh, 4,000 stubs that I didn't have before, man. Perfect. Still not worth the value of a headliner. Kind of funny to me, but... Hey, man, we still got plenty of chances to get a diamond. There's a gold, the greatest catcher to ever play baseball. Definitely not biased as a Cardinals fan. No way. Man, now that they gave me a diamond, I'm sitting here expecting diamonds. I I'm sitting here thinking that every pack is going to have a diamond in it. Set 14 headliner. We got one more of these to go. Not what we wanted. Also, someone in the comment section was saying, I can't believe that no one's figured out the right time to buy packs. I'm pretty sure there's no, or to open them. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. But we got Ralph Kiner as the headliner. If I'm going to be realistic, I don't know if I want this to be Ralph Kiner. I don't know how much he's worth. I, I do want this to finally be a diamond that's worth some stubs though. Because most of the diamonds we pull are not worth a ton of stubs. So we're hoping that changes today. That looks like purple to me. Machado, maybe? I did not know that Taylor Rogers was, uh, was an 85. I guess I'll hold on to him. I don't think he's probably going for more than about 3,000. But, hey, man, there's two diamonds. And my bad if I don't seem super happy. Like I said, I don't feel good. I, I really feel, um, <laughs> not good today, so... Uh, I'm trying my best, but energy is pretty low. We got one more headliner. So we're no matter what getting one more diamond from this video, whether it's going to be from the headliner or the chase pack. I don't know what yet. I just got a feeling that we're going to have at least three diamonds today instead of the, 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 can I talk instead? Of... <sighs> Look how hard talking is sometimes. In addition to the two diamonds that weren't guaranteed, but six diamonds total, I feel like we're going to get at least one more. Hey, I guess it's going to be in the chase pack. Oh, man. I am two for, I want to say six on chase packs this year. Six chase packs, two diamonds. We're hoping to be three for seven, if I'm not mistaken, here today. But I hope you all enjoyed the pack opening. 500 likes on the video means one always intense pack tomorrow. A thousand likes equals two always intense packs tomorrow. That's 60,000 stubs. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Please be Albert Pujols. If this is Albert Pujols... Uh, I'm surprised I don't already have one, but I'm buying a Pujols jersey. But I love y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope I feel better soon. We no matter what, we'll be having gameplay tomorrow, maybe even later today. But let's see what it is. Wait! Wait! Who is this? That could be a face of the franchise card. That's like 10,000 stubs, maybe even less. I'll see you next time, man. I hate that. Peace out.